Okay, we're going to cut this in half for the bread knife. The uh, four inch roll is uh, significantly less money than two two inch rolls. So we're just going to cut this in half. About there, looks good. Be careful, these are sharp knives. Okay, I'll take the smaller one and put it in our Ziploc bag. And get it out of our humid atmosphere because the humidity starts to activate the resin immediately. That's why they're in these pouches. Okay, and then we can dip this in water. It doesn't take much water to get it started. So now from this point, we have about five minutes before it will harden up, and so you have to get all of it on there at once. We want to wrap it around the edges of the bottom bracket shell first, so I'm going to focus on that, and then I'll start wrapping around the rest of it. It's important to get the edges of the bottom bracket shell very strong and, and tight for when the bottom bracket bearings go in there. Come back through one more time. Make sure it's nice and tight. Come over here and do the other side. Nice ring of fiber around the edge. That does a lot to strengthen the you can also move this as you need. Come up here. I like to come around the bottom of the shell and up around the seat tube. That helps anchor it and resist pedaling forces. One more time around there. Up around the seat tube. I like to try to connect the seat tube and the down tube and then the down tube to the bottom bracket and chain stays, and you just keep going around without staying in one spot very much. You don't want to just wrap one area, you want to keep going around and tie it all together. You can make a pattern of sorts, but what you really want to do is avoid big voids, big gaps in the wrapping. You'll have some gaps in the wrapping, They're not, it's hard to avoid that. But the idea is to pull tight on these and make it as structurally sound as possible. And it's a good idea to move the frame a fair amount and look at it from different sides. And you can really see what's going on. Like I need to come up here and wrap around that. I didn't see it from the other side before. Same thing here. Just wrap that. Nice and tight. smooth this out because it will harden up. You won't have time to open up another one and get ready with it. It's better to uh, try to smooth out each layer as you go. So I'm pushing down on all the high spots, keeping them compressed, letting it stick to itself right now while it's still curing, it's still kind of sticky. spots in here are usually prone to big gaps, so these are the two spots I like to focus on under here as well. See, it's already starting to harden up. Yeah, basically, basically done at this point.
nice and flat. Tuck some in here. You can also wrap it with electrical tape if you want, but I find that just massaging it with your hands is enough, and you can really push down on the high spots and get all the material flattened out just with your hands. It's already starting to harden up. Okay, we'll come back and sand that later. It's, a, it's nearly hard by now. I'm going to take some 80 grit sandpaper and use it to sand the bamboo so it adheres better. This is our sticky back sandpaper and if you fold it in half lengthwise it makes a nice sanding strip. And I'll put my dust mask on and we'll start to right, this up. Okay, I think we're ready to go. leave space for the disc brake and for now what we can do is uh, just go right up here and connect it we'll cut that off later this one gets the cable stop top of the wrapping, so I'll come out a little bit further. I 
think I'll cut that so I can wrap the end of the tube better. Okay, that's about it.